The New York City Urban Debate League has helped over 100 New York City schools get access to debate training for students. Tonight, we hear from two middle school students who participate in the league with their brief but spectacular takes on debate and democracy. To have a good debate, you, would, you need to stay calm and prepare. Respect is a huge factor in debate because if you don't respect your opponent, you can't even respect the judge, then what are you doing there, to be honest? It's not even a debate at that point, it's just an argument. I'm 11 years old and I go to MS50 in Brooklyn, New York. I'm currently a sixth grader and I'm a debater and a basketball player. I go to PSMS 161 in Harlem, New York. I'm in seventh grade. I've been doing debate for three to four years now. Well, it all started in third grade where there was this new program happening in my own elementary school and I was quite eager to try it out. And then there we learned how to like debate and now here I am. Should the United States federal government ban TikTok? TikTok should be banned due to amid concerns that their partner company would give users information, data, like such as browser history and location, to the Chinese government and push propaganda. I think we shouldn't ban TikTok because it gives the young people and other people the voice that they deserve. New York City Urban Debate League is just basically a legal debate where Different schools and different cultures around New York City and the boroughs, they come together for different tournaments. It's important to have these programs out because it promotes diversity in all communities. I love debate because I get to talk. A lot of the time I've had to switch my, how I usually perceive things. When somebody asks me a question, I try my best to answer it fully and then come at them with a question that's even harder. What's the better borough, Manhattan or Brooklyn? I think the best borough is Manhattan. We have lots of good arts and culture and entertainment in Manhattan. Mm. There's a really good food. Practically almost everywhere there's some kind of train station. So in and out, you can be across the city from an hour to 30 minutes. I see your point, but I agree. Brooklyn has also a lot of culture, but from um, mostly mixed communities like um, Dominican and Black and Jewish all in one community. We have a lot of diversity. One of the most important things about debating is being yourself, because if you're not yourself, then who are you? You know, you have to be confident in your abilities and what you can do as a person. If you're confident in yourself and your abilities, you can do anything you want. Debate is important for the real world because it will allow you to understand others' perspectives. Sometimes looking at the other person's perspective can change your own. If people could understand the other perspective, then it would make it much easier to do things. To be honest, if you win or you lose, it's still it. Winning at the end of the day because you're learning something, trying your best, being excellent in your own way, and just pushing through. My name is Francis. My name is Eric. And, and this, this is, is my brief but spectacular, spectacular take on, on debate and democracy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Some compelling arguments there from Francis and Eric. That's fantastic. You can watch more brief but spectacular videos online at pbs.org newshour brief.